Hello Beauty News family, welcome back to Beauty News. This mm -hmm. is the 7th of September edition. I'm going to struggle through all of September with my Invisalign. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to start with some updates and first up we've got Fenty. Yeah, so about a month ago or so we saw this sneak peek from Rihanna. She put it just just a photo mm -hmm. on her Instagram stories showing her bag. There's a lip gloss in there, some compact of some sort, um, and we've now seen what it is. So it's a lip gloss and mm -hmm. a highlighter. So the highlighter is interesting. It's a diamond bomb all over diamond veil. So it's not the same as their kilowatt highlighters. Yep. This is a uh, like jelly powder mm -hmm. that melts into your skin like butter. So it's more of a. I'm wondering if it's going to be similar to the Stella Heavens hues. Possibly. So it's definitely got some creaminess to it. Some, it's a more wet highlighter, yep. but it's not the liquid that they had previously yep. with their body lovers. So this is um, pretty much like a translucent base, but it's got um, crystal sparkle in it. So very similar also to that Stila one. Yes. Yeah. Um, so that's that. We've seen the swatch here. It does just look like it's very wet look sparkly, mm -hmm. um, almost translucent, not even silver glitter, like clear glitter. Yeah. Um, and the lip gloss is sort of similar as well. So this lip gloss is called Diamond Milk, and they're saying that it's a shimmery wash of pearl um, that's like a dewy highlighter for your lips. Yeah. Um, so... Diamond milk. Diamond milk. Sounds mm. fishy. <laughs> fishy. Fishy. Good. Good. <laughs> so both of these are releasing the 7th of September. So yep. if you want some sparkly milk diamond stuff. Fishy. Fishy. <laughs> scales. Fish scales. You can get it. You can get it then. From Cavon D, we've got an update on her fetish palettes. So there is an eyeshadow palette and a blush and highlight palette. And also a, tr a lip trio. Ah, okay. Is it a trio? Yeah. No, quad. Quad, all right. So these are going to be the holiday line. Mm -hmm. um, we did see the packaging a while ago. We still haven't yet seen what's inside, but we've seen a lot of indications. Yes. Um, if we do have the full palettes, we'll insert them now or we will talk about them next week or week after but the fetish um blush and highlighter palette kind of looks cool we've seen swatches you can see three colored highlighters and three like complementary matte blushes yeah quite I, wearable i i kind of like what's going on yeah. here not gonna buy it no will not be doing it um but i like the color story I like the colour story too. And I've seen too. a few people say that they like the colour story, whether they are on the bandwagon of purchasing or not. So I think, you know, people can appreciate it for what it is. Yeah. Um, the eyeshadows, look, uh, I don't, um, I'm actually not really a fan of the eyeshadow selection. I agree with you. So this palette is 25 shades of matte, uh, glimmer, metallic and mega glitter finishes. Yes. Yeah. And you can see here that it's very grey with yeah. pops of colour and pops of metallic. And shades that have been applied wet and then... Yes, that's what I was going to say as well. Again. Can... And I just... I agree. Look, I, I have quite a few Kat Von D eyeshadow palettes and I do like her like metallic formula and stuff. You know, it's, it's not bad. But to me, it's like not worth it. They're I don't not, need... They're nothing to write home nah, about. No, they're not. And it's not... Not only is this not a color story that I like, mm -hmm. but I'm just not down with her formula. It's I agree. not good enough to take up space that, like, I would prefer to buy something else. I agree. I'm, I'm also going to say that, like, if you look at this video, which hopefully we will take screenshots and put side by side, you've got silvers, you've got greys, mm. you've got dark purples, which are fine, pops of metallic, which are nice. Yeah. So many varieties of greys and blacks. Yeah. I, whether they're, they've got glitter in them, whether they're matte, too there's too many greys and blacks. They're all the way through. And then these, like, annoying pops of colour. Yellow, yeah. green, red. But do you like... know what the yellow, green and red reminds me of? Of, right. Kylie's holiday yeah. palette from last year. Yeah. So I feel like this is just not necessary. No. But also, if you look at the um, part where they've got greys and greens and whatnot, you can see that these have been swatched wet. Now, 
you know, a lot of foiled eyeshadows um, or a lot of like metallic eyeshadows can be used wet yeah. um, and they give a foiled finish and they don't seal the pan. Mattes, not so much. Mattes can seal the pan and make them hard to use. So they will probably, by swatching this and swatching it as intensely as they have, they probably destroyed a palette mm. just for the market marketing purposes. But you can tell that they've swatched it wet because the grey that's next to that metallic red actually looks like it's been painted on and it's drying down it's crumbling mm -hmm. so these you can also see with the colors next to it it looks like they made a wet paste put painted it, on, it on painted it on and then patted like a dry yeah. uh eyeshadow over the top to make it look like it's a dry, dry eyeshadow it's not this yeah. is i'm not inspired i'm no. not interested um, I'm not falling for it. I'm not falling for it either. No. Um, I can see right through. Like, as people that used to have blogs and, you know, do review products on our own channels, yeah. I know how to swatch and I know how to fake swatches. Yeah. I don't do it, but I know how people do it, and that's a fucking fake swatch. Yeah. Um, but they also have the Fetish Everlasting Liquid uh, Lipstick with their three best-selling shades and one glitter finish. <sighs> this sort of frustrates me because if you're a fan of her products, you will have these. Um, so they've got uh, the brand new shade is latex, which is like a black with glitter in them. The best three best sellers are Ophelia, Lolita, and Underage Red. So it's going to be forty four US dollars. But once again, if you like her lip products, you will have. I have at least one of these, and I only own three of her lip products. So you know, I, I'm not. I'm not digging this. Um, the eyeshadow palette also is sixty three US dollars. Um, the blush palette is 43 US dollars. With the releases, most places you can see on the screen here are releasing the 27th of uh, September. So the US Kat Von D website that sells internationally, um, and then it's got like Canada, UK, you know, all these other France, countries. Yeah. And but you've got also um, uh, e store only. Okay. Yeah. Little, yeah. Little bit confusing because probably because I ship from the Cap One D website. I'd say so. Yeah. And then it looks like in Australia and Singapore, in store, is the eleventh of October. Yeah. Um, and then it sort of rolls out from then on. So, yeah. Excellent. Better to have one date. It makes it a bit more confusing this yeah. way. But... Yeah. It does. We've seen the. Um, Brandon Maxwell collection that mm -hmm. everyone thought was Bunny Maya or Beyonce or Britney Spears. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's Brandon Maxwell. And we have seen the full collection. So there's an eyeshadow quad. Mm -hmm. And there is also a couple of lip glasses, yep. are they? Yep. Yeah. And okay. two lipsticks. Two lipsticks. Yes. So these are all limited edition shades yep. um, with limited edition packaging. And the limited edition packaging is not crazy. It's just that sort of logo printed on it. Yep. Um, but the eyeshadow quad, I think it's quite wearable. Absolutely. You know, it's, yep. it's probably more of a beginner palette. But I'd like the peachy sort of tones. Yep. Or, you know, it's wearable. It's it's the sort of thing, like, pretty much anyone who likes pink eyeshadow can wear this. But if you like pink eyeshadow, you've already got it. Probably That's why it. I reckon it's a bit more beginner. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, pink, pink lip gloss, peachy lip gloss, um, sort of burnt orange lipstick and bright red lipstick. So yeah. um, these, I don't know when they're releasing, but that's what they are. All right, the last update is from Urban Decay. Now, last week we did announced that the Naked One is being discontinued. Mm -hmm. uh, it's mainly sold out at most places because they had 50% off. So if you wanted it, hopefully you grabbed it. Um, but yeah, we were talking last week about how there's a lot of rumors about whether they're going to revamp it, whatever. And we pretty much said, I think they're just going to continue with different, you know, Naked Heat, Naked Smoky, all those different themed ones. And then they this did. is out. Now this is out... Um, in some countries in Asia. Okay. So it's not actually officially out and Urban Decay haven't even announced this, but a lot of people have bought it and got their hands on it. So, yeah. and it looks legit as fuck. It's like it the does. packaging is spot on to their previous couple of palettes. Yeah. It looks just like the Naked Heat, but it's called the Naked Cherry. Yeah. So to me, okay, I've used a lot of naked palettes before. I think I own every single one. Yeah. Um, this doesn't look fantastic. No. And I'm going to tell you why. So, firstly, this looks like a mix between um, the 
the mini palette they recently brought out, which was the aphrodisiac palette, yeah. and also their last bigger palette, which was oh no, not their last, but a few palettes ago, the back talk palette, yeah. which was purples and these sort of soft mauvey pinks. Um, so this is just like those two palettes having a baby. Yeah. It's not necessary in the range. A lot of people are interested. A lot of people think this is boring. I um, I am on the boring yes. bandwagon with this. I am so disappointed. <laughs> yeah, I'm disappointed too. I feel like this um, would have been a smarter move uh, a year ago when yeah. like um, all the pink palettes were coming out. I feel like this is a bit old. Some people are inspired. Yeah. Some people aren't. It is what it is. Um, but I feel like this is going to have the same problem as the Naked Heat, which the problem with the Naked Heat was that no matter what shades you used, you had similar like a similar look all over the eye yeah. because all the shades were very, very similar. And that's what this is going on. Besides a nice matte peach that pops out to me, besides the cream... They're all pretty basic or they all look very similar. But what I wanted to point out was the formula looks a bit dodge. If you look at the third yeah. shade, to get that swatch, how much do they need to dig into I that? Know. I'm And the look, last matte, I feel like like I use the um the back talk palette, which yeah. is a sort of pinky purple one. And to make that have beautiful, rich vibrancy, like I I had to work. Yeah. It I dead set spent probably forty five minutes creating an eye look that popped. Yeah. Because you can't Otherwise, make it pop. You it know. was literally like I'm pretty sure I said in that review, like, you can wear this to see your nana and she won't have a heart attack. Yeah. But she like, won't even notice you're wearing makeup. And that's a thing. Like I think that palette, the colours were nice and I like that they yeah. had face palettes with a face that pigmentation was the Shit. pigmentation was like I think it applied. It wasn't patchy because patchy no. drives me insane. No, but it was very very sheer. Yeah, for it sure. was really. Sheer. But I feel like these mattes concern me a little bit. The last one, you can see how it it's very dark in one spot. Yeah, and then lighter in other spots. That implies that that's not a smooth matte to work with. You go to put it on your eye, and the mo the moment you put it on, it's gonna tug yeah it's gonna like stick to that area and then not blend out evenly so there's a few signs in here that imply that some of these shades aren't going to be working well no. and so for me i am going to probably pass on this i am not i wouldn't take a risk on this not no. with actual money no <laughs> look monopoly I, money yeah, yeah but monopoly money sure not but not I, actual I have to buy monopoly and i don't want to fucking do that <laughs> That's um, fair. yeah but look i think this is sort of a, getting in the direction of a cool toned palette which a lot of people want but yeah. i just think the the variety in this is boring as hell yeah i'm not into it uh another sort of update and we were talking about this before we're not sure if we've mentioned this in the past but mm. i know that it's sort of old news and it's stuff that has been sort of floating around um there was a trademark for urban decay naked honey mm -hmm. um so i sort of wanted to mention this as an update because um the founder of urban decay posted um this picture which is an old product that they've had it's called the honey Lick uh, sparkling lickable body powder um, and I feel like by her posting that, it's not just to reminisce, it's like foreshadowing honey palette, honey palette that's going to be coming yeah. out. So they are churning I'm more out the palette. interested in a honey palette. Yeah. I'd be, Potentially. I'm keen to see what they bring out there, but fuck me. Keep the pinks and the purples. You do know this is going to be 12 shades of gold, though. Yeah, probably will. If it's got cool mustard colours and Yeah, colors I'm hoping for like... You know, amber shades, yeah. rich, like different shades of yellow they won't. and gold. No, they, <laughs> they won't. won't. But let's they be, should. Let's they be should. real. Let's be real. Yeah, they, they should. They won't. fucking should. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's go back to the start. All right. Start about and talk about new, new stuff, stuff that has been uh, coming out in the last week. Let's do it. Bare Minerals. Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be a holiday palette. Yes. So this is called Aurora Lights. Now, Bare Minerals do create a few packs. Mm. Um, so they do have some cool packs that come out, especially like face packs with like, you know, uh, loose foundation, yeah. mineral foundations yeah. and all that kind of stuff. So this is just the tip of the icebergs. Yeah, Iceberg. we will 
We will see so much more yeah, of this. We'll see and heaps more. for those people who love the episodes, we will do our Christmas specials oh, this yeah. year for uh-huh. sure. We, will. we we don't we don't want to. <laughs> we don't enjoy them. <laughs> they're, but they're, they're a lot of work. But they're we a lot of work, them. but we will we'll do, do them because we know you guys love them. Yeah, but this has been spotted at alt, some Ulta stores. Yeah. So a few people have got their hands on it. So they're starting to come out. Uh, this particular palette is said to be forty eight dollars and a ninety dollar value. Now mm-hmm. I do want to say. Um, they have beautiful eyeshadow quality. If you like the shades at all, they're worth the money and they're pretty Absolutely. affordable. Um, but you can see they're getting into the star thing. All this astrology and stars and stuff. It's, it's the they're trying mermaid. to be trendy on the outside, but it's... Mm, yeah. This, mm. this really feels like... Like, there was a few trends last year that just didn't really take off. Yeah. Like, drag and stuff. And, you know, yeah. like, people were trying to do it, but people yeah. weren't falling for it. And I feel like astrology is one of them. Like, all the brands are like, oh, this will be the next big thing. And people are like, oh, I'm already sick of it. Yeah. Like, yeah. I didn't really care. I got my one yeah. lipstick that yeah. I needed and but, I moved uh, on. And I, I feel like the whole astrology-related thing is kind of... Yeah, yeah, it's going to fizzle out. But I do have to say, like, a lot of people are saying that they clearly don't know what Aurora lights look like mm. because the inside of the palette isn't very inspiring. Yeah. Now, this photo is the first photo we saw, mm. um, and it's taken what looks like in the dark. <laughs> so um, yeah. I appreciate this person putting it on Instagram. Absolutely. Um, but it's, it's not a good it's photo. It's not the best photo. She did take swatches under a light yeah so we can see i think also the problem is uh, showing a photo in natural lighting under in the dark and then showing swatches under lights where they're possibly washed out you don't see the nuances in the shades yeah this looks like there's like five creams and three champagnes like it looks boring but i feel like there's more to this i think Um, so it looks yeah i like that their metallic shades are beautiful look I'm mm. going to say this. I'm probably going to buy this palette. I will buy unless, this palette too. Unless they bring out something that's better better than this color and story and bigger. Like, I'm I'm always going to buy something from Bare Minerals when it comes to their Christmas ho- um, Christmas palettes or holiday palettes mm-hmm. because I like to support them. I love the brand. I believe in them. All that good stuff. I love their formula as well. Yeah, their formula is the best I've ever used. Yeah. So, I'm like, I will buy it. Yes. But I I want to see better swatches and I want to see better photos of the palette. I agree because we've got one other photo at the moment and this is like in-store lighting. Now that is no even worse it. because it's like um, fluorescent tubes that are lighting mm. and it throws everything off as being really blue yeah. and really like washed out. So in this one, I'm actually probably a little bit more interested because... This is not a bad, cool-toned eyeshadow palette. Yeah. Does it have vibrant greens and vibrant blues? Well, it's got one of each. Mm. But it does have those mauves and those taupes and those sort of colors that a lot yeah. of people are wanting to see. And yeah, I know this formula is fab, so yeah. I'm probably going to buy it, Yeah, to be honest. Yeah, but, let's be real. Yeah, 18 I'm shades, well. 48 bucks. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not hating it. Yeah. What I am hating... Oh shit! Fuck okay, man. can we just give this some some background? Yeah. So <clears throat> last week, Becca, or over the weekend, I think it was. Yeah. Becca showed this image. Uh, it is fantastic. Mm-hmm. It is like beautiful. beautiful gemstone, fucking amazing. Yeah. Um, I like it on the pebbles, the like shiny black pebbles. Yeah. Volcano, inspired, yeah, inspired. Yeah. It looks. I'm yeah. like, fuck. This is great. Yeah, volcano I might goddess. Actually, buy a Becca thing. Yeah, surprise. Yeah. I haven't bought Becca in years. I yeah. might buy this. This yeah. looks fantastic. People were going. I hope this is great. Um, and then we've seen it, and it's not so great. So this is currently available on the Ulta website. I think it was for. Um, when you're watching this, it's available online anyway. I think it was originally for Platinum members. And it will be in store um, later. On the 26th of September, it's releasing in store. But this is 46 bucks, And I'm going to tell you, if I was spending 40 something bucks on a palette, it would be the Bare Minerals one. Because yeah. I can assure you, the quality will be a lot 
better. I would um, prefer to wipe my butt with forty six dollars and buy this palette. I am look, so disappointed. Look, that'd be a bit. <laughs> We've got plastic money. It will hurt a little bit. I'd yeah, pre- sure. probably prefer to just buy this. But I get what you're saying and valid. Uh, so this is half boring, half... Colour. Colour, but... Sort of. Yes. Muted, questionable. Questionable colour. So a lot of people are like, like, okay. And if you actually look at the, um, the, the outside versus the inside, it's like they've just taken the colour side and put that over this beautiful stone cutaway design. So yeah. it makes you think it's going to be really, really great. But I, d- I don't know. I just feel like a, a couple of metallic shades that are pretty mixed with all these bland nudes. Is it wearable? Yes. If you like mm-hmm. Becca formula, sure. Um, but I don't need this and I don't like Becca formula for the eyeshadows, unfortunately. Um yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, I'm not... I don't... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Good night. Mm-mm. 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 Uh, another thing we've got from Becca. A limited edition version of the Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Opal. This is being brought out to support breast cancer awareness. So $8 of each purchase of this highlighter with the, the breast the cancer ribbon. ribbon. Uh, $8 will go to Breast Cancer Research Awareness. Yes. The um, so Research the, Foundation. Yeah. yeah. So that will run from the 1st of September through to the 30th of November. Um, now, you know, I think this is great that they're doing that. Total, you know, mad props. Absolutely. Um, but I, I feel like that this probably... The, the fact that they bring out so many limited edition different colored highlighters. I don't understand why they went for one of their most popular classic shades that has been around for the longest, Opal, Mm. because I own Opal. Even if I wanted to support this, I kind of don't want two pans of Opal. Um, The only difference is the design in the pan and Mm. also the sort of blush color of the packaging. I feel like they could have mirrored that with the color inside. It would have made people buy it more. And I do know a lot of people love their highlighters and try to collect them all. Mm-hmm. So it would have been a way to sort of force people's hands into yeah. donating money. I agree. Um, a lot of other people are complaining that only $8 is being donated out of 38 Now, I think that's a bit harsh because a lot of times where brands say they donate 10% of the proceeds... The proceeds might only be eight bucks, yeah. so they might only be donating eighty cents. Yeah. So um, when it comes to stuff like this, um, there's so many overheads with brands. Packaging costs a lot, product not so much. Advertising costs a lot, um, and then also if you look at it being stocked in Ulta, which is where it's currently being sold, um, they will sell it to Ulta for less price, and then Ulta has to make their profit as well. So I feel like $8 is actually pretty generous when it comes to... I think to, so too. If yeah. they sell a million of them, a million units, $8 eight, per yeah, unit. Yeah, $8, eight million bucks. Million you can't, you like, can't... That's really good. And yeah. if the, let's say it was 10% of the proceeds and the proceeds were $8 and they were only getting $0.80, cents, yeah. the difference is massive yeah so but, I, but people would see 10 percent of proceeds and going good on them oh my god so good but you don't know how much their proceeds are so That's i feel correct. like eight yeah. bucks is I pretty think, fair i think eight dollars is good as well i feel you on bringing out a different color bring, out, bring out different colors for <laughs> i know c- congratulating that someone scratched their ass I so know. why not like bring out a new one for this it just doesn't make i much don't sense. understand and they it's not as if they've taken like they're not saying every sale of opal. No, because it's a, only it's this only special that one. specific one. Yeah. So if you've gone to the effort of pressing it into a new pan with a new design, make it a new fucking shade. Not mm-hmm. that hard. Or make it like opal with a pink shift. A pink shift. Like you're welcome. <laughs> Come on. You're welcome, I Becca. Just, that I, I actually would have bought that. Yeah. So you know. Anyway, I, yeah. I our details are down below if you want to contact us in the future. Yeah, by the way, still that idea will come for you. We've got proof. <laughs> Receipts. Receipts. Yeah. Trademark. <laughs> um, okay, let's move on to uh, a concealer. Now, mm-hmm. I'm not sure if we spoke about this as a sneak peek. I feel like we did, but I don't remember when exactly. So we're going to talk about it as though it's new. Good. This is the new concealer from Cover FX. So it has been released. It's mm-hmm. the Power Play Concealer. Now, this is the shade guide. Um, it's interesting, like, there's 30 shades available, and the shades are 
pretty diverse. Yeah. Now, they've got a white one through to um, P Deep 5. Now, P Deep 5, like, spread out. It's quite dark, but it doesn't look super, super dark in the marketing photos. But if you actually look at it in this uh, trend mood photo, it almost, it looks very it dark. It looks super dark. Yeah. And what I love about this is, so the way you pick your shade is you first find your shade range. So fair, light, medium, deep. Mm -hmm. So that's what one thing yeah. is. Then you pick your undertone. So pink, which is a rosy, cooler hue to the skin. Neutral, which is equal parts pink and golden. Golden, which is yellow or a warmer tone. And then G+, plus, which is golden. Um, it's more like olive, like deeper shades. Yeah. So I think this is really cool. $30 each, 30 shades. And they're designed to be long wearing, crease proof, with weightless full coverage that instantly conceals dark circles and any perfections while blurring fine lines and providing next level pollution defense. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, it sounds like it does a lot. It does. But Will do you it know make what? breakfast for me too? I hope so. Um, well... Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it will. Maybe. But yeah, look. they're available now. But look at some of the shades. Look at G Medium 2. I know. People with olive skin struggle. Here yeah. is one for you. But I like the idea of this because um, there are a lot of full coverage higher end concealers on the market and they're very sticky and tacky. Mm. And they actually sit in your lines and they kind of, yep. they're not good. Um, nah. Whereas this sounds like, you know, if it's thin but high coverage, lightweight, I, f I want one. Yeah, I, I would be it. I would be interested in trying this. JD Glow. Mm -hmm. oh, God, we've got some beautiful babies. I've been watching them swatch these. Yeah. Stop it, JD. Stop it. Yeah. Um, so what we have here are the new multi-chrome pressed highlighters. Um, there's three of them. There's a blue, a gold green, and like a... Pinky pink gold. purple. Oh, is it it's, pink gold? It's a, they say it's a pink purple that shifts gold. Gold. Okay. So um, if you actually look at these photos, it's really interesting. Top down, it looks uh, pinky purple, yeah. bluey, I don't know, aqua color, yeah. and then maybe a silvery Silver. green. Yeah. And then on the very side, oh, yeah. it looks kind of peach, wow. purple, yep. and then, I don't know, silver. Mm. So the shift is really interesting. Um, a lot of people are really interested in the sort of more um, yellowy, silvery one. Yep. So is, is it Synopsis? Yeah, I believe um, so. Because, you know, it's quite wearable, quite intense, but also got that bit of a color shift. Um, interesting thing about Chaos, it definitely, definitely looks like a... Um, finely milled so not sparkly more shimmery version of a stylishly merry eyeshadow from mac um stop it yeah, jd i know but i would never wear it as um a highlighter i would only wear it as an eyeshadow yeah. because they're very 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 intense yeah and um i think that trend in my opinion is over yeah but it's a gorgeous color look at it, it sort of reminds me oh, i did see that yeah yeah it reminds me a bit of um the Vlada MUA yep. and Smashbox one, but instead of it being sparkly, it's, it's being metallic. Yeah, uh, it's pretty. Yeah, and the blue one as well, which is Cloud Nine. Um, once again, super pretty, but I still think that really extreme coloured highlighting trend is. Look, people are going to buy it, and that's yeah. totally fine. The quality looks great, and they look really affordable as well for the amount of product you get, but. It's too much. It's so pretty, but it's I, so pretty. But I wouldn't I wear it. Oh my god, I love that one. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? I want to dust it all over my face. See, I, I would look at it and be like, "This is gorgeous," but I probably wouldn't wear it too often. So these are sixteen dollars fifty, and you get eight to twelve grams of product. Whoa! I don't understand why it's eight to twelve, but. It's a big difference. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with that. But they look gorgeous, and for sixteen fifty, I think if you wanted a really bold, color shifty, gorgeous highlighter, this is the one I'd go for. Yeah. Um, but you know, they I'm, look great. I'm old. And I need, I need some like things that look flattering on the skin. Yeah. <laughs> We've got some new nail polishes here from Kester Black. This is the In Loving Memory collection. Mm -hmm. It's Kester Black's tribute. 
uh, that changes the game. So this is a collection um, where you buy the nail polishes and one dollar from every purchase of the nail polish will go to uh, the Coalition for the Protection of Racehorses. So it's a funny concept because we're getting into spring racing festival here yep. um, or racing carnival and it's a big time of the year. You know, a lot of people go to these racing carnivals, yep. horse races, um, and people often in especially in Melbourne, associate racing with... Oh, spring with, with horse racing. racing. Yeah. So instead of actually playing on the spring racing carnival, they've brought out spring shades, which are beautiful shades. They are gorgeous. Um, yeah. But they're doing it to stop the brutality of the spring racing carnival. Yeah. So the bright pink one is My Girl Ella. So it's a watermelon pink. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's this more muted sort of purpley pink mauve kind of color, which is Peace Talks. Yeah. Now, both of these are um, named after racehorses that died in the racing industry. Yes. And um, these are available from the 4th of September. So yep. they're available. Um, it's interesting. Like... I think that these, firstly, I don't like pink nail polishes, but I love these. I yeah. think these are, they've picked the shades so well. They're really, really tasteful pinks and they're great for spring. Like, yeah, absolutely. I love them. I was yeah. wearing this one like the other day and I was like for all week and I was like, this is beautiful. Yeah. Um, whether you want to buy this to support the cause is completely up to you. Um, we were talking about this, touched on a little bit last week about brands that sort of reach in their makeup makes me a little bit uncomfortable yeah i support animal rights and whatnot yeah. but i also support the racing industry i don't support the yeah. racing industry but i understand why it's there yeah and i feel like yeah i feel like because yeah. you like racing i do i like horse racing yeah um i grew up with it and i I don't believe that it is a brutal sport, but I feel like everyone has their own opinions. Um, it's hard for me to be like, support, promote, support, promote, because I feel like I'm being a hypocrite. Yeah, so, and that's know, fair enough. I'm happy to be like, these new nail polishes are out and a dollar from each sale goes towards this, um, you know, what are they called? coalition for something something that yeah. that place yeah um like it goes towards the cause so you know i'm i'm happy to promote that but i also feel like i can't really like say too much because it it makes me a hypocrite see i sort of i i sort of agree with Haley a little bit i'm i'm not pro horse racing i know yeah. a lot of people that personally are so i understand why they enjoy it for entertainment and whatnot, mm -hmm. and I think in the scheme of things, there are, there's a lot of worse things in the world. But I feel like when um, we're reading this information, and it's saying things like, "To honour the spirit of this sweet bay filly, she was just four years old. This sport needs to change." Yeah, I can't. Say I'm that. like, like I propaganda. Yeah, and I, I'm not really like. I feel like there's a way that you can support a cause while not being disrespectful to people who don't support yeah. that cause and i feel like they would they did this wrong and even though we are ambassadors for kester black i don't give a fuck um yeah. like yeah. i love the colors yeah and we have to speak i love out. the colors yeah. but but we, i i read that and i was like Haley, i got this in the mail and i said Haley, you're gonna fucking hate this yeah and i instantly felt awkward because yeah. i love kester black and i want to support the brand yeah but i can't and I love the colors i actually really love the i colors. can't lie I can't be a hypocrite. Like, I, I do support the racing industry. Yeah, you do. You love it. But, I love it. Yeah, and I just think that um, this is just an example of, I think, by being too preachy about a cause, you alienate people. Because yeah. I don't like being preached at um, with people's strong beliefs. I like yeah. to digest all information and make up my own decision. Mm. And so if I actually received anything that was preaching anything heavily... Mm. It makes yeah. me uncomfortable, yeah. and that's what this release did. So, yeah. Yeah. sorry, Kester Black, your colours are spot on. They are, they're and beautiful. And for pinks, yeah. I fucking love both yeah. of these, and I rarely love pinks, so yeah. you've done that well. Just tone it back a bit. I think I think the colours are gorgeous as well. Yeah. And I do, like, don't get me wrong, I do think it's a good cause. I understand 
that not all horses are treated well, Mm -hmm. but not all horses are treated badly either. Mm -hmm. All right. uh, Another new release from Makeup Revolution. Uh, This is... A lot of people would be interested in this. Mm. So firstly, we have the full cover foundation, which is like the foundation version of their concealer that everyone raves about. Yeah. Um, And that is going to be in 24 shades. Mm. So nine pounds... 9.99 euros or $12 but also the concealer that everyone talks about um, and raves about that's coming in a super size version it is 13 grams yeah compared to four grams yeah it's over four times which is good like honestly i sort of expect concealers to have 13 grams yeah when i heard that the um the one that people rave about has four grams i was a bit like Mm. My maths is totally wrong. It's not over four times the size. Three times. Over three times. <laughs> yeah. But it's uh, seven pounds, 7.99 euros or $10. So for an extra $3, you're getting um, maths. Yeah. <laughs> Six Number. grams more. <laughs> but um, these have already launched. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So if you like that, I'm sure you're keen on the foundation and the mega concealer. Yeah. Um, Good. Maybe we'll do a... How many swatches? Yes. Mm -hmm. From Marc Jacobs, we have some new fall items. Yeah. Um, So there is a enamored high shine nail lacquer set. Two shades. $28. Um, There is also a waterproof eyeliner and volumizing mascara pack. So this contains a eyeliner. Yeah, and highliner in uh, glam glitter gel, yeah. eye crayon in glam jam. <laughs> so it's uh, that's the... a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Uh, so it's that kind of jammy color, which is cool. That sort of uh, berry color. Yeah. Um, the highliner gel eye crayon in blacker. Mm-hmm. That looks like a mini. Yeah, one's a full size and one's slightly smaller. Yeah, it's confusing. And the Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara and a makeup bag. Excellent. So that's forty nine dollars. And then we've got two shades of sequins glam glitter eyeshadows. So there's Blitz Glitz, which is a blackened violet. And there is a Topaz Flash, which is a beautiful uh, like topi bronze. shade. Yeah, yeah. topi bronze. Um, so those are $28 each. All of these are limited edition. So if you want them, they're out at Sephora US now. All right, we've got news from Morphe. They're releasing a new 35 pan palette. This is the 35V. So I believe it's a Stunning Vibes Artistry palette. Um, So $24. It's currently online now at Ulta Beauty for Platinum members, releasing to everyone else 16th of September. So I am going to say, okay, besides the row of purpley blues that all look the same, at least this has more variety. Yeah. There's yeah. actually a highlight shade and some creams. Yeah. And I don't see too many double ups, which is nice for Morphe. But it's yeah. interesting. Yeah, it's yeah. very full. It is, yeah. Um, but yeah. But if you like those purples and blues. Yeah. And greys. Yeah. Glittery and grays. Gra- gl- glittery greys. Yeah. yeah. You've got them at spades. Uh, Natasha Denona. We've got the Mark Your Liquid Lips in Matte. Yeah, so these just popped up randomly Mm -hmm. on Sephora. Mm -hmm. They didn't actually sneak peek it like they do with all their other stuff. We still haven't seen that, uh, what was that palette? The Safari something palette? Oh, that's right. Still haven't seen that. Forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, look out. Yeah, watch out. I'm I'm (laughs) waiting. I'm waiting. Um, but these, uh, it comes in, I think it was like 19 shades, a uh, little bit confusing though. So this is supposed to be a groundbreaking liquid lipstick oh. with a hundred percent pure color payoff, non-drying, exceptionally lightweight feel. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so yeah, it's supposed to be very pigmented, um, and comfortable because it's got like oils in there to help hydration and make it a little bit more comfortable, which right. I appreciate. Um, an aloe vera ac- extract because I hate, um, really dry flaky liquid lipsticks. They're, the they're, they're a struggle. Yeah. Um, but the thing that's interesting, so they've got these brownie sort of nudes. Mm-hmm. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Cool. We can see them. Um, uh, you know, nice. Uh, then we have more pinky sort of nudes. 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then we jump to 20, which is red. And another red, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. They're all sort of purplies. Yeah. Or 27. They're all berry kind of purples. Where did... Where did 12, 12 to, to 19, 19 go? go. Yeah. So, and this is not like... This is not me not grabbing all the photos. It literally, is... with the drop-down menu, is missing a bunch. So I don't know if they had an issue with a batch or... Yeah, a, I'm not a sure. A bunch of batches... Or if they're just, you know, going to stagger the release. But what would yeah. be in between? Oranges and stuff? I don't know. Maybe. Colours? I don't know. But, you know, maybe they were just holding off the release for now. But it seems a bit strange. But the colours look nice. And, yeah. you know, I haven't heard anything about them yet. But, you know, it is, we'll it is what it is. From Sigma, we have some new palettes. We've got a blush cheek palette and a sculpt highlighting and contouring palette. Mm-hmm. Uh, six pan palettes. They look... Look, I don't hate these. Don't mind them? I don't know when they're coming out. No. But the thing that interests me the most is the sculpt and highlight. Right. Um, And the reason being is they look smooth as fuck to apply. Wow. And the colors are really pretty. Like, I won't use them all. I will use Fake In It, which is a lighter shade. So palettes like this, I don't buy anymore because I use one shade and then I'm like, I can't actually use... You have to be a makeup artist to use these. Yeah. Or buy one and have sisters with different skin tones or, you know, friends or family members that use your makeup because not everyone can use all those three. But they look really, really nice. They do. They They look smooth and buttery. They almost look like creams. Yeah. They look beautiful. So I would love that if these came out in, like, singles. Yeah. But then we've also got the highlighters, which, once again, look beautiful. What the fuck? They look really nice, don't they? I'm digging when I, I wasn't so interested in the palettes, but when you see the um, when you see them actually swatched, they look quite nice. That's insane. The thing that confuses me: why is there a cream in the blush palette? Yeah, I don't, I don't. I but look at spice. That. Oh, look at, look at Tiger Lily. I know. So, the, yeah, so I grabbed these screenshots, um, and the palettes generally don't interest me, but these swatches they look so smooth. And the thing is, with blushes and highlighters and contours, the thing that I've learned is it's not so much about the color or the whatever, the yep. pan design. It's how smooth they apply. Yep. Because if they look really too pigmented or too hard to blend, yep. you don't use them. And no. these look beautiful. I want Tiger Lily and I want, um, I want Faken It Contour. I want that in a duo. I'm annoyed that like I would buy the blush palette for a few shades in there. I'm annoyed with a contour and highlight palette that it doesn't it's, suit everyone. Yeah. But like, the quality looks great from these swatches, which yeah. is not much information, but no. from playing with makeup for years and years and years, these look pretty damn what decent. What is this sorcery? Why do they I look know. like creams? They look they look beautiful. That's insane. I want this Corderosa yeah. blush and Tiger Lily. Oh. I want to see more about them. But why have this cream? Is that to tone down other colors? I don't... I'm not sure. I don't understand That's not a that. blush? No. And this is not like a blush and highlighter palette where you go, okay, it might be a matte highlighter shade, which no, no one uses those anyway. Well, not no one. Very few you people know use those. Yeah. 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 Anyway, I'm inter- I don't know yeah. what's coming out, but the swatches interest me. Interesting. I also respect that he shaved that part of his arm just to do the swatches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah dedication to the cause yeah um all right uh source box is an indie brand mm-hmm. and um they've got a new palette coming in october so um yeah we haven't seen much about it other than the outside mm-hmm. uh, but it's called the secret garden palette from Too Faced, we have a little update on the Clover collection mm-hmm. uh, which was limited edition it was limited edition but they are bringing out more clover goodies this makes more sense if it was they were still available yeah yeah i'm not sure what's up with that i'm a bit confused Mm, jared what are you doing we don't love you enough to let that shit fly uh all right so we've got the pretty puppy eyeshadow palette this is going to be 28 dollars. it includes six eyeshadows with a versatile mix of matte and metallic finishes um very like mm, basic basic look travel friendly absolutely yeah and fucking cute 
Very cute. The packaging is adorable. Yeah, super cute. Let's not deny that. Yeah, like it looks like children's makeup, but children's makeup done all right. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it not looks... for everyone, but if you like cute makeup, it's definitely highly definitely functional yes. and super cute. Yeah, I yeah. agree. And also the Melted Clover 2 Matte Liquid Lipstick. It's a dusty rose shade. I want it. I need to get this one. I know. I saw, I wanted the last one. I know. The last one was more of a mauve pink. Yeah. So a brighter yeah. pinky with a slight mauve. This is gorgeous. I, I love their so, formula. I know. I love the cap. I love that last week we talked about some of their Christmas stuff and they have um, the caps. Yeah. Um, with, with the design the oh, and the, or the geese and yeah. the bunnies. Yeah. And yeah. look, I'm going to say as well that I have a draw probably with about seven or eight of these. Yeah. Some of my favorite liquid lipsticks. So even though not everything Too Faced does is great, absolutely. They're hit and miss yeah. full on. Um, but these liquid lipsticks generally are a massive hit for me. So I'm really keen. Yeah. Anything in the like mid-tone range is fantastic. Darker ones and lighter ones. But that's the same with all liquid lipsticks. I find yeah. anything with like a white base, so yeah, like the really white not nudes, good. not good. Neon things, not, not good. good. And then you go over to the wines and the dark, dark, dark shades, not, not good. good. They tend to go flaky and patchy. Yeah. Nudes, but pinks, reds. Fantastic. Can recommend. We've also got another sneak peek from them, and I don't know too much about this, but we've got a couple of new palettes. So we did see that they were adding stuff to their peach range. Mm -hmm. um, so we talked about this sugar peach palette the other week. So we're ignoring that top half of this collage, but the second half shows a tickled peach, smells like peaches, um, eyeshadow palette mm -hmm. and also uh, a sugar cookie palette as well yeah um so that's really interesting i'm assuming the one on the side is that looks different that package unless no these are the boxes aren't they yeah i reckon that one's going to be tickled peach yeah and it looks itty bitty it does look itty bitty which is great for travel yeah. um and I'm curious to see if the sugar cookie smells good. It doesn't say it smells like sugar cookies. Um, and it'd probably just be like a more nude version. So similar to their natural collection that they've been bringing out. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So it's supposed to be, I don't know. We don't know too much about it. Yeah. When we know more, we'll let you know. Mm -hmm. But stuff's coming. All right. Urban Decay. Yep. Elements Palette. So this popped up. I don't know. Event K are like, oh my God, take the palettes. Let's yeah, they've been in. pumping out the palettes. Yeah. So this is coming out in a couple of days' time, so mm. September the 8th, um, along with a bunch of other stuff. So this is actually going to be their holiday collection, I believe. Right. Um, so we've seen a few things. So there's, of course, the palette, which is a massive palette. It's going to be $52. US dollars. All right, so this eyeshadow palette contains 19 shades. They all look like they have sort of different finishes. Some could be duochrome but the majority of them are just shimmers. Yeah. Um, and once again, this is very galaxy-inspired. Uh, a few people are wondering why they have different sh like sizes, sizes of the pans. Yeah. I completely agree with that question because yeah. it's like they've got a massive highlighter one massive around not massive but big around the mm. outer edge and then some of the most wearable ones are small i know the one in the center is supposed to be a transforming yeah. shade i i don't I, I don't like that i'm not into this palette not falling for it do you not know what, convinced do you know what this reminds me of if you cut it in half and turn it into a rainbow it's a two-faced life's a festival palette <laughs> yeah pretty That's much pretty much what they did but yeah, yeah a lot of people are a bit confused by this um, but yeah, along with that, they're releasing um, the Travel Size Elements Space Powder for face and body, which is a sparkly light gold highlighter. Yeah. Um, I did actually see this on a video, someone demonstrating it. It looked really, it was a person with deeper skin, it looked really chalky. Their, high, their baked highlighters like this have never been good. They've, not, They've like, never no, been good, no. but they always bring them out. Um, there is a Sapphire Heavy Metal Glitter Liner Trio. Mm. You might be interested in that. Yep, I want that. Yeah. It's, sorry, it's Starfire. Oh, Starfire. Starfire Heavy Metal Glitter Liner Trio. $60 value. Three of their glitter liners. Yep. 
this might end up in my stash. That's fair enough. There's also the Hex Remedy uh, travel, 24-7 travel eye pencil set. So these are smaller versions of their 24-hour, um, 24-7 glide-on eye, eye pencils, pencils, which are yeah. nice eye pencils. Very handy for travel yeah. if you and, need a little one. And good colours as yeah. well. So you've got black, you've got like a gold champagne, a navy, um, a purple, and like a bronzy kind of colour. Yeah. $79 value for $29. $29. It's not bad, That's actually. It's a good deal. Yeah. Holiday Hall of Fame, $73 value for $39. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, eyeshadow primer, full-size pencil, perversion mascara, and a small all-nighter setting spray. Like, if you like those products, they're pretty good. Yeah. Um, we've got the Holiday Heat Set. So, primer, Naked Heat Petite, eyeliner, um, all day... Oh, all nighter setting spray, seventy eight dollar value, forty five bucks. They've got the all nighter setting spray in an ornament. Yeah, but look at the packaging; it's so cute. I know it's so cute. I love it. Um, there's also also the twenty four seven perversion set. This is a mascara and eye pencil duo, forty five dollar value for twenty nine dollars, and an all nighter full size duo. All right. Yep. This has a value of sixty four bucks for thirty nine dollars. Yeah, I think normally that twenty four dollars each. Yeah. No, they must be more. Oh, thirty two. Yeah, yeah, thirty two. So that's, that's really good. Really so good deal for seven bucks extra. You're getting another one. Yeah. So people that really like that stock up. Yeah. Do it. And the last thing is a double dose eyeshadow primer potion duo twenty eight dollars. Look, you really got to love their eyeshadow primer to want to buy that but even then you need to use a lot of it because if you use an eyeshadow primer like every day for a year you maybe just use it up so that's stocking up for that well that's that'd be better to go in with a friend and split it it. would that's absolutely um so yeah that's their holiday stuff we do know that the palette's releasing on the 8th Mm -hmm. not sure if the rest of the stuff will be but they often release the palette early and then like a couple of days later or a week later, they release the rest. So I don't know if that's going to happen this year or if it, you know, it is what it is. Mm. The time has come to dedicate this episode to a beauty news VIP. Mm-hmm. And this episode is dedicated to D. Thank you very much, Thank Dee. You, Thank Dee. you for supporting our channel. Yes. And um, for all the VIPs, uh, keep an eye out for the community tab that you have special access to um, because we will be doing our monthly live chat Very next week. Soon. So do keep an eye out for that. Yep. We did figure a good time last time we did it. I think it was, you know, yeah, it was, we'll discuss it. it. Yeah. Well, yeah, we had a great turnout last time. We did. It was, it was fun. It was yeah. a great chat. Yeah. Um, so if you do actually... Maybe we should do it in the car again. Maybe in the sun. In yeah. The car. It was great. I loved it. Oh my we God, sort of guys. opening some mail and we're doing stuff. Spring has started in <sighs> Melbourne and it... Oh, oh, oh my God. I love Kat it. came outside. She was like, I can smell the sun. I can smell the sun. I'm like, oh, yeah. it's so lovely out here. Um, so beautiful. But yeah, if you don't know what our Beauty News VIPs are, um, there's a membership option on our channel. It should yeah. be below this video. I think you can press the join button. Mm-hmm. It is a monthly fee, but you can get extra access to perks, live chats, yeah. um, and it supports us. So it's very well appreciated. Yes. So thank you very much. Uh, emoji. I was going to say a horse, but that's totally... <laughs> okay, to be shit stirrers, let's uh, put a race horse emoji. Yeah. Um, and also you know, just a horse face. We do shit We do shit stir. <laughs> yeah, why not? We do. All right, guys. We love you. And we're taking our shit stirring asses. And we're going to go do yeah. some more work. Yes, why let's not? Let's do it. Let's do let's it. Let's do it. Thanks right. for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.